Konnichiwa, everyone. Welcome to Amazon Ads Omakase. I'm your sajangnim today. We have a sous chef, Hui Chinin. We're going to serve you a special lunch, which is going to help your business on Amazon with Amazon Ads. Hi, chef. My name is David. I launched my brand in my country and I started selling about three months ago. I think local customers do find us as the market leader and we have some brand share of voices in retail stores. But I do think that I need to increase my brand awareness on Amazon.com towards worldwide customers. Hi Chef, my name is Clarence and I think I'm somewhat in a different position than David. I actually launched my product and my brand two years ago on Amazon.com and I'm actually very happy to say that we are actually getting strong growth potential on our Amazon store. It's just that right now, I think that there are greater potential for us to increase our brand awareness and to increase sales from our competitors. Can you guide us how can we actually do that exactly? I see. It seems you guys are struggling with how to grow your brand awareness. That's right. I would like to invite you to today's special, a key to brand building from sponsor ads to brand metrics. Since we have a lot of step-by-step -step phases to diagnose and implement different objectives, we'll dive into two parts of brand building. The first would be a la carte, and the second would be our main dish. So please follow us carefully. Let's start from the importance of branding in Amazon. 75% of US shoppers use Amazon to discover new products and brands. Additionally, we've seen that 52% of online shoppers get their inspiration from Amazon. What this means is you need to stay active in the conversation, help shoppers learn more about your full product line, and tell your brand and product story in a compelling way. That's interesting. So for new brands, being visible on Amazon is really important. Now I think I made the right choice to launch on Amazon. Now I want to know how and what we should consider in a high impression and high awareness advertising campaigns for our brands. I hear a lot of words and jargons that I know, you know, segment, high value interactions, etc but I don't really know what this really means to me. Great point. It is important to think term branding in three different stages. Every brand should consider the customers throughout the shopping process, and we should segment audiences based on their highest value interactions with brands. As you see, there are three stages of branding. Awareness, purchase intent, purchase. Whoa, are these the only stages that we should start looking at on Amazon? Of course, if we want to divide, there might be more sub-stages. However, the core would be to see in these stages. So it seems to me that customers are divided into phases and like it's different in terms of targeting. How do we assess where our brands are? Do I focus on awareness? Do I focus on purchase intent or purchase? You are right on point. Here comes our two a la carte reports that can actually help you identify where your brand is versus your competitors. Number one, brand metrics. Number two, sponsored brands category benchmark reports. Have you ever heard of brand metrics before? And do you know how it looks like? I remember seeing it somewhere in the ads console. I don't know where, but somewhere there. I think I saw that before, but I just hadn't had a chance to really utilize it fully for my brand performance. For brand metrics, it provides a measurement solution that actually measures the impact of our upper to lower funnel Amazon marketing strategies with advertising or non-advertising insights. Let's take a quick look at how it's structured first. Please go through this process. Seller Central, Advertising, Campaign Manager, Insights and Planning, then you will see Major 2, Brand Metrics and Brand Impression Share. Brand Metrics has actually transformed its major UI to amplify the face that each shopper as well as its engagement status. If you actually see below, you will see your shoppers how many shoppers we actually captivate at each stage and how did it actually grow versus the previous time period. Please click View Detailed Metrics for your brand in this category. For brand metrics, it's divided into four major parts. Number one, it's your brand's overall condition. The data is based on the consumer marketing and advertising activities carried out by other sellers' brands. Specific indicators will emerge. Sections 2 to 4 shows the consumer data at each stage of awareness, consideration and conversion. 
wow, the moment I see it's like, you know, I'm just like, my mind is blown. I see a full dashboard, super fancy, made by Amazon. But I think the question is now, like, how do I read it? I think we should know what each item signify. Could you show us more? If we see more specifically, the core would be the specific indicator to realize each stage. Let's take a look at the specific details. Number one, we have actually branded searches only. This shows shoppers who have searched for the brand owner's brand or product in the selected category but did not actually interact further with the brand owner's brand. Second, we have detailed page views only. This shows the number of customers who have actually viewed the product detail page of the brand. Number three, we also have branded searches and detailed page views. This metric actually shows the number of customers who have searched for the brand as well as view the owner's product detail page. Next, we have a very important metric which is add to cart. This shows the number of customers who have actually added the item to their shopping cart, but they actually have not made a final purchase. The last metric we have is the top 10% and subscribe and save customers. This shows customers who have contributed to the brand's top 10% of sales, as well as those who have chose the subscribe and save option. And last but not least, we also have branded customers. Amazon customers who have actually purchased but may or may not buy again. In the next 12 months, some customers may actually purchase again, bringing extra value to the brand owner's brand. Got it. Awesome. I can view through these metrics now, whether it's good or bad. And what I want to know is that, what other numbers are there besides my brand number? Like, what do all these numbers mean? It shows the category median that you can benchmark your brand's numbers. It could be lower or higher than the benchmark. Then, it's a stage that you should focus to grow on. Later, we'll use this tool how to upscale our stage of branding. Okay, satisfied with our first a la carte? Next. This is Sponsored Brands Category Benchmark Report. Have you actually had a chance to look at what's inside the report? Not a lot. However, I did launch numerous Sponsored Brand campaigns already. I just haven't had a chance to see this though. No worries. This report is available in Sponsored Brands. Please go through this process. Panel Central, Advertising, Campaign Manager, Measurement and Reporting, Create Report, Sponsored Brands, Category Benchmark. You can see how your brand performs versus competitors. In this report, metrics are available as impressions, click-through rate, a cost, and return on ad spend. Let's see how it looks like. Let's look at Clarence's example together. Okay, I see this column brand under category, and then I see the impressions, the click-through rate, the A cost and the ROAS. There are also peer impressions, bottom 20%, median and top 25%. Wow! And take a look at this, those are my competitors' benchmark. I see, so now I can use that as a benchmark to compare with my competitors to really see where my brand stands. That's right. So based on this campaign, you will see that there are a few quick tips that I want to share with you to optimize your impressions as well as your clicks. Firstly, on the issue of low impressions. Number one, what you should do is to increase your bids by about 10% versus actual CPC to win the impression served to your buyers. Number two, we'll want to optimize based on the placement, either top of search versus product pages based on your historical data. Number three, it's to change your bidding. We can change from down only to up and down bidding. Next, we look at the issue of low clicks. Number one, what we want to do is to improve keyword targeting, product targeting. People that are not even clicking, this actually means that your targeting might not be relevant enough. Okay, so how was our a la carte for everyone today? Honestly, it's way above my expectation. Like, I can't wait to see when the main dish comes up. I'm excited. So make sure before we go into the actual stage of branding and how to set up the strategy, these two tools would be absolutely important to look at. In our special course, we're going to see how to read and implement different ads campaign by objectives for our brand. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more and download the interactive guides below. Clarence and David, I hope you learned a lot and see you again next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.